and the study. I got the good news just a day after last week's two-day marathon. Yay! Of course, that means I'm going back today for another two days of lights and torture. Yay! One very full morning later. Two minutes to eat lunch, one minute for it to cool down. No pressure. Uh, the purpose of these two days of testing is to establish a baseline for my entry point into the study. Um, as a result, I am going to be redoing quite a few of the tests. Uh, this morning, I have already done the eye chart again. And uh, at the moment, I am waiting for uh, my eyes to be photographed again. I'm expecting it'll be the same uh, photographs. What I just got done with uh, this video is being taken in the afternoon. I didn't have any chance to take any video in the morning. I was just rushed around from appointment to appointment to appointment uh, with no break. Um, was a, a redo of the dark adapted test. So my eyes are dilated right now. I don't wear I'm not wearing my sunglasses at the moment because I left them on the uh, floor above me. I was rushed down here to wait for um, photography because I'm the last appointment of the day and they are going to be closing up soon. I'm surprised I haven't been called back yet. It's a little past 4.15 on the fourth floor. You can see the light coming through these windows. It really makes this floor glow. Brilliant blue today. Looks more like water in the glass. I'm kind of obsessed with this floor. This is too cool. I've been corrected. The floor is green. I finally have a chance to sit down and uh, record a little bit for you guys. I'm at my hotel room now, and uh, this first day of my baseline testing is done. Um, as I had said before, I think the uh, um, appointments were just back to back and I had no chance to do anything. I didn't even really eat lunch. Uh, that uh, two minutes I had, uh, it just took too long to cool down. So I just kind of took bites here and there while waiting to be called for the next thing. Uh, what I did today was um, I had an eye exam, the eye chart again, and um, uh, weirdly, my left eye was doing a little better than it did last time. I was able to read the whole top line, which meant I didn't have to count fingers again. My right eye was doing worse, however, so I guess it's a wash. <laughs> um, my right eye was just having one of those bad eye days, bad sight days that us with RP frequently have. Uh, after that was done, went over paperwork again, medications again. Um, had that extremely brief attempt at lunch, and then the afternoon was filled with a lot of eye uh, dilation and the uh, um, trying to catch flashing lights out of the corner of your eye type tests. Uh, one was uh, an ERG derivative, I guess would be a good way of putting it. It's based on an ERG, standing for electroretinogram, uh, a classic ERG, you have um, contact lenses in your eyes with wires trailing from them and you're hit with rapid strobes and the wires um, conduct the impulses from uh, your retina activity. So that's kind of an automatic, automated way of looking at how your eyes are processing light. Uh, what I did this time was called an FST don't recall what the S stands for. Um, the F is full and the T was threshold, so uh, full um, sensitivity threshold, something like that, where, again, I'm strobed with, with light, but they're colored lights, not just white. And it uh, involves hitting a button instead of trailing wires from contacts. So it's a lot easier on the eyes. It's just a um, quick, I don't know, 40 minute uh, test. The regular, the classic ERG takes a lot longer to do. So I uh, did that and then I went on to the dark adapted test again. 
just as long and grueling as before. Between the two of them, I did those back to back in the same room. I it was a three and a half hour uh, marathon there, and the time it took to get my eyes adapted to the, to the dark was longer this time as well. Instead of sitting in a room for 40 minutes, they gave me an extra five for what good that does. So I was sitting there for 45 minutes, again with the double eye patches and um, uh, diets dilated. So uh, that took up most of the afternoon and I had a brief break of a couple of minutes while I was waiting for my eyes to be photographed. Um, as I said earlier, uh, the, and as it turned out, it was the same machines. The OCT camera with the infrared spectrum to build, uh, take pictures of my eyes in 3D. I found that was to see how uh, thin my retinas were getting. With uh, RP, your, eye, your retinas tends to thin out over time as the cells die off. And then the regular visible light camera with the brilliant white flash. And so that took all told from about uh, 10.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the afternoon. It's 9 something now, 9.10 or so, and my eyes are still complaining to me about what they've been through. Tomorrow is going to be a pretty long day too. For dinner, I had a chicken taco, um, probably three or four days old, that's how it tasted, and a Caesar salad which only vaguely resembled food. My stomach's telling me about it. Well, it's an early day today. It is 5.05 .05 at the moment, and um, I'm already spacing out. I'm really tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. <laughs> at all this time. The room was kept way too warm even though I had the air going. Uh, all I did was just add a lot of noise to the room. So um, yeah this is gonna be a very long day for me and to add to the joy uh, the very first thing I am scheduled for is a blood draw. We know how much I love those. My understanding is it isn't another uh, boatload of vials, it's one or two, so um, I will take the right spots where I can get them. It's amazing what a little bit of time and breakfast will do to wake one up. The sun is in the sky and I'm ready to start my day. As soon as I finish this, I'll catch my ride. You want to sing with me just la 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 The music is the key in I'm all checked in, so I'm just waiting to be taken over to the blood lab. I was the first blood draw of the day, so it was a quick in and out. Just two vials this time, a lot better than last time. I'm back on the fifth floor at KCI, waiting for my next appointment, a uh, visual field test. Should be about uh, 20 minutes from now. Excuse me. Yep, the visual field I took was my old friend, the octopus. The octopus 900. I didn't know there was a number after it. I guess that's the generation. So, octopus 900, uh, the same as I took last week. My eyes were really dry and itchy this time, probably from lack of sleep. Uh, but uh, it was quick and uh, over with in half an hour or so. So now, in the next minute or so, I will be taken over to another building on the tram uh, for the pre-operation uh, consult uh, medication um, go through and uh, yeah, that uh, should be the last appointment of the day. Well, we are pulling away from the platform, heading on down. It's not too crowded, this trip. <laughs> Just a few people. 
afternoon with Steph and I. We're at the Waterfront Campus. You can see the tracks here of the uh, downtown streetcar, which also comes through. Services the area and uh, makes a loop around downtown Portland city center. Just following the tracks around. And again, I'll have to leave you here as I'm going in for another appointment. So that was the pre-operation uh, medications evaluation. Just basically going over everything I'm taking and do a physical to see that I am okay for the anesthesia. That's all done with, I'm cleared, so on to the next appointment. The last one of the day. Okay, I'm on the train, heading back up. Just waiting for it to take off. I've had my last appointment of this two day marathon, a meeting with the surgeon who will be working on my eye. The surgery is next week, so that's coming up here quickly. We went over the usual things uh, for surgery, the uh, check-in times and what to expect before and after the surgery and uh, medications to take afterward, all that stuff. Uh, any questions I had about uh, recovery and risks, things like that. And then he went into what does the uh, procedure actually entailed and I knew it. But kind of hearing it again from him um, just reiterated to me uh, how delicate uh, this uh, operation is. Uh, he's needing to get at the retina, which is at the back of the eye, and it's extremely delicate. No easy way of getting to it. Um, apparently the vitreous jelly, which uh, fills the eye and helps support its uh, shape, gets in the way of seeing what he's doing, so uh, during the operation he has to pull all of that out. Um, filling the eye with uh, you know, something to re replace that vitreous and then uh, he'll be injecting the, uh, he called it the material uh, beneath the retina at, uh, I think it's just one injection that's being done, I want to say. He didn't see how many, but I'm assuming one, one site. And uh, once uh, he's uh, made his injection under the retina, he'll stitch me up. There'll be three uh, incisions to be made, so three uh, things to stitch. And I was warned that that's going to be really uh, irritating for a good week, so. Yay! And then, of course, tons of drops for keeping inflammation down and the muscles relaxed. Um, antibiotics to, uh, um, as a preventative measure against infection. Stuff that uh, you'd, you'd expect for this sort of thing. So, um, I am definitely uh, on the roads to the operating room. Uh, again next week, uh, I'll be having a post-operation uh, appointment the very next day to make sure that everything still looks good and I'll be starting all those wonderful eye drops, the antibiotics and anti-inflammatory and all that, the day after. And then there'll be a day three post-op uh, follow-up um, appointment. So I will likely just stay in Portland for uh, those four days. This is the first two weeks, I think, are going to be pretty appointment intensive. So that's all I have for today. I am exhausted. I'd like to record more, but um, my brain just doesn't want to think right now. <laughs> yeah, this, these two days have been a lot more um, intense than last week's uh, two-day appointment marathon. I feel more like a double marathon. I don't really know why. It's, it's, I spent about the same amount of time at KCI going through about the same number of tests, uh, both visits, but it's just the, I mean, the ordering of it or the fact that I was doing two tests back to back without any break this time. Both of them pretty demanding. Uh, combined those two tests uh, and the, um, I would, they were both done in the dark, so, and 
the adaptation to the dark uh, with my eyes it took over four hours right there. Um, a long time to be maintaining heavy concentration. Uh, so again, that's all I have for now. See you guys in the next video. P.S. It's almost 6 and my last appointment ended at 1.30. My eyes are just now coming off of dilation. What do they use in those drops? I've been rushed between uh, appointments and a... Uh. Yep, hi. Uh, just as I was going to start a video. Sorry. <laughs> I'm all checked in. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, I was uh, just about to say, wait a second. Yeah. Thanks for agreeing to come in earlier. Oh, that's fine. I wasn't sleeping anyway. <laughs> Let's see. What was I going to say? What was I going to say?